everyone, Dustin here from Dustin.tv. Wanted to give you a quick run through of my favorite social sharing tool and browser extension, Buffer. If you're not using Buffer yet, I highly recommend it. I've actually mentioned it as my top social media management tool in my most recent blog post. And one of the primary reasons I go over in this post that I love the Buffer extension or Buffer so much is because of its Chrome extension, making it super easy for me as a content curator, somebody who's sharing lots of things across social media, to share an article that I come across uh, as someone who m manages multiple social media accounts. So I wanted to give you a quick view of how I use this and how you might be able to use it too to help streamline your social media efforts. So let's say you're surfing the internet and you find a fantastic post on socialmediaexaminer.com. Not an uncommon thing to do to find a great post here. So I find this article and I want to share it across my various social media platforms. I don't want to have to sit here, copy the link, and then take it over to Buffer and then manually schedule each individual social network share from there. I want to do it from one place. I want to do it quick and easy because I'm doing this on an average of uh, anywhere from 150 to 300 times a week uh, sharing articles for all my various social profiles and accounts that I manage. So the Buffer Chrome extension makes it super easy. Here's all you do. All you need to do is install the browser extension and it sits in your icon tray up here. When you've come across an article or a web page you want to share, simply click it. It comes up with this gorgeous interface. And for those of you who are newer to Buffer, you may be seeing this similar composer. This is called the Multiple Composer. Um, and if you're an older Buffer user, you may have the older user interface. It might not have been distributed to you yet, but uh, for the sake of uh, being as current as possible, I, I actually love the multiple composer as compared to the old one. So what it does is it populates a list of all the social profiles that you have connected to your Buffer account. You can see I've got quite a few. And you can manually select each individual profile that you want to share to uh, for this article. Now what the multiple composer does is it gives you an input for each individual network you have selected. Rather than just having one input, to uh, write one message across all platforms. Now we know based on data and lots of research that sharing the same exact message in the same ex exact way to every social network is very ineffective. Every network has different styles and different cultures. Uh, I wrote about this extensively. You wanna share the message slightly different to each platform and Buffer allows you to do that with a multi multiple composer. So, uh, for example, if you just wanted to share a quick tweet version of it, you can just share a quick tweet version of it. Buffer allows you to choose from images on the page. You can add an image and uh, even add uh, some hashtags if you want to. Okay, social media traffic. And if I want to mention Social Media Examiner, I can do via at S-M-E-X-A. There it is, and it auto-populates which is great. And then you can compose your Facebook. Uh, love this post from Social Media Examiner. Looks like they don't have the uh, Facebook populating uh, page populator. Um, let me just write a quick message. UTM, UTMs are extremely important for the savvy marketer. Nothing too long there for Facebook. And for Google Plus, I'd probably write a much more extensive overview of the post, uh, mainly because the people on Google Plus, if you're not aware, they want something more engaging. They're a little bit burnt out from the social networks that are too shallow and not sharing enough information. They're not into clickbait. They're not into uh, what we like to call link litter, where you're just sharing a headline and a link. So I'd probably spend some more time on Google Plus crafting a, um, a more thoughtful uh, overview of what this link is going to send them to and what it covers. And here's where the extension really shines. And this is actually a secret that many people don't know about the Buffer Chrome extension. Now, let's say I wanted to pull in some quotes from the article. Uh, I would usually just kind of scroll through here, maybe move this around so I can see what I'm reading here. Uh, but Buffer has done this really cool thing where you can actually just hit this Chrome extension again, hit the icon, 
it disappears and you can continue re reading the article, uh, maybe pull in a quote or something that uh, you know is interesting. When you hit it again, all your inputs are saved exactly as you left them. So you can paste in that quote that you found and hit it again, maybe continue reading the article, find some good points throughout the article. Ooh, I really like that. Let me make sure I mentioned that. Um, you know, in, insert really good insight here. Um, so this makes it really super easy to uh, go back and forth and make sure that you're, you're not just sharing articles without actually reading them. Uh, you want to give your audience insight as to you know what it is they're going to get out of it and maybe get some perspective from you. Uh, for more on that, I have an article called The Anatomy of a Perfect Google Plus Post. It dives a little bit more into the deeper analysis of how to give value and how to get more engagement out of your posts. And uh, I talk about that in there. So this makes it super easy, folks. It literally takes me no more than a couple minutes to share across all platforms that I care about. And of course, you can always choose uh, you know, images and media if you want to replace the link with an image. Makes it super easy to do that. And then all I need to do is just add it to my queue right with that button, or I can share it uh, next in my queue, share it now, or schedule it for a specific time. So that's why I love the Buffer Multiple Composer, or the Buffer Chrome extension uh, with the Multiple Composer, because I can easily craft my posts for each individual network quickly, easily, and beautifully, which to me is super important because if the user interface and user experience is ugly, I'm not going to want to use it. I'm not going to enjoy myself. And being a social media manager for a lot of different profiles, I need to like and love what I do in order to continue doing it at a high performance level. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you've gotten some insights. And for all my other best social media management tools, you can head over to dustin.tv forward slash social media management tools. And I'm going to actually embed this video right within inside this post. So. Thanks for watching. See you soon.